Hello people, I'm Sarah and welcome to Late Summer. This one's actually a fairly new release. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? We get a cutscene, a flyby of the area. Now you don't need to do this, but if you want an extra kill, you can walk around this area and wait a while and a crow will come and attack you. But uh, I'm going to leave that for now. <coughs> what you do is turn right and climb up the block, slide, jump, slide, jump and grab the safe ledge. So basically you turn into the right here. And then climbing up onto the slope, sliding forward, jumping and sliding forward to this ledge where I'm standing here and grabbing the edge. So uh, that's the helicopter where I assume she's just come from. From this ledge, you come over to this corner. And then run and jump to this corner here continue to the wall and you're going over the other side but to avoid less damage we are going to drop to the higher ground below see where that door is that ground is actually higher and you'll lose less health Turn round, slide down the slope, and jump into the water. Come round to the right, and you'll find a hole in the bottom of the water. Now, she only picks this up if you're facing sideways. So, take the key, which is the rusty key, and exit back out. Now we are going over this direction. Line up. Now, this area is a bit slopey. Just run and jump up all the slopes around back to the wall. Now we are going to the south. Check if that crow's actually showing up. No, it's not. We're going to the south lock. This is where the rusty key is going. I forgot to show you that earlier. I need to start remembering to show you things. In here, you may hear the sound of spiders. Just ignore them. They're not going to attack you. <sighs> Pick up the flares and the small medipack next to the skeleton. And then take your guns out and you can shoot the spiders from this direction by jumping up and firing. Is that all of it? go pull down the lever in the corner and then we are going back out so the quickest way is to drop and hang and drop bye bye mr skeleton now we are going to drop back down the safest way And then we are going to the door that you saw with where the rusty key is. So, you're going back into the water. We 
are going down into the hole we are now going through that door and we are now going to, to get the first secret this might be slightly tricky to get because it's in a really tight gap turn to the right and you will see a little cave and then in the water you should see a seraph go up to the seraph and take it you might have to get into a right into the perfect angle to pick it up or else you won't get it take the silver seraph and then climb out of the water once you're out of the water climb round to the left and then we are going to climb up onto this block run jump and grab the block ahead where the bridge is connected now the easiest thing to do now would be to first kill a crow that is over here come here and all you've got to say Go, you're dead. Now go. Now, a f camera angle shows a key. We will not be picking up that key in this level. So exit back across the bridge onto this area here. Round to the other side, and you will find a lever. Pull the lever. Go back across the bridge. I'm going to have to jump over that. Go back across the bridge. Come to the right. Jump over the wall. Jump over to the grassy area. And now we are going to get secret two. So enter this door here. There is a ladder up here, so we are going to jump up and grab the ladder. There we go. Climb up. And this is a fun <laughs> bit because we get to use the zip line. So I would advise you to save here because. When you drop off the zip line, you have to immediately turn left and climb up to that block to the left, the flat block, and you've got to do that because the floor is actually a floor that crumbles away. So you quickly turn left and climb up and you should be able to get on the flat block just as the floor crumbles below your feet so come to about here save again jump forward with a slight right curve and you should see the jade seraph for the taking jump back hang and drop safely to the floor back to the room where you were just in when we climb a ladder and now we are going to drop through this floor. Now it's best here if you go back backwards. Because this is the way you will need to face as you will see in a second. Drop. There are boulders coming after you, so quickly sprint forward, staying on the left hand side, the right hand side I should say, and turn to the right when you get to the end. You will see a sliding, slicing blade. Oh my god, I am doing very well today. Slicing blade. Jump over the slicing blade to land on some breakable tiles. Jump over the next blade, run jump over the next blade, and run jump over the next blade and land in the hole. <laughs> yes, I lost the damage on the wheel, but uh, I can live with that. Right, so turn to the right, and you should see on the floor, I should have looked a flare, but there was a shotgun there. 
Next you will get a small medi pack. Next pick up is some shotgun shells and some flares. Turn back round and go and turn to face the ladder. Now this is actually really weird because you can actually run through these slates because you won't be able to get to the ladder quick enough otherwise. So as soon as you get to the left, run forward, jump up and grab the ladder and she'll quickly pull her legs up and you'll be able to get up the ladder. Jump back once you get near the top, climb the next ladder, turn around, climb the next ladder and then once you get near the top again, back to flip turn round, enter the next room and shoot a spider. Now to the right as you face this wall as you come down the slope, to the right is a lever and a door that leads to the end of the level. You can exit there now but it won't actually end the level. You need a prayer wheel to be able to end the level. So instead of going right, go left wade through the water wade through don't know why I didn't but you could climb out to the left there fall into this pit Turn round, follow the underwater passage to the right. Climb up, swim up, turn round, climb up. And now here, we have to sprint forward, drop into the pit, quickly run forward, and then Grab the ledge as if you were climbing up, but don't actually climb up straight away. Just wait for the boulder to roll over the top of you. And you should get through this with no problems. Now in this next room, after we climb this block, is a crow. So we must kill said crow. Take another shotgun near the skeleton. I think that's in case you didn't pick up the first one. Andrew, it was a little bit dark in there. <coughs> Climb this block. Now, if you look to the right, actually, I will come a bit closer to show you. There is a gap in the wall. We need to grab said gap to get to a ledge on the other side where there's a lever. You can't just see the lever from here. And that lever opens that trap door there in the corner. So what we need to do is do a sort of... Uh, what's it called? Banana jump. Around to the right and then grab the crack. There we go. Shimmy to the left, around the corner, and climb up into <coughs> this hole. Pull out the lever. Drop back down. Now this is where we had to save the game again. Lots of saving in this. Fall down into the room and I have just Yeah. I for some reason it uh, turned me round. I don't know why it did that.
duck to the right and get into the middle of the tiles. And as soon as... Never mind. Try that again. What I was going to say was, as soon as the first border on your right passes, jump back to the left, then immediately jump again to avoid the bit, the blade. So let's try that again. So, fall, jump to the right, jump to the left, jump again to avoid the blade, and then jump forward and grab the edge. Yay! Slide down, jump to the right, quickly avoid the spike wall, drop down into the breakable tile, pick up the massive prayer wheel, hmm, not sure on my health, go on we'll give it a go. Turn to the left once you've climbed up onto this block and then you're running and jumping towards that slope there. Run, jump to the left, slide down, grab the edge, shimmy to the right. Climb up, jump back with a twist and grab the ledge behind you. You are safe in the corners, so maybe it's possible to save the game. Run forward, turn to the right and jump and grab the edge of this slope. Shimmy to the left. It's alright, the spikes won't touch you. Around the corner. Far to the left as possible, climb up, slide, jump with the left curve, slide back and grab the edge. Climb up, back flip with a twist and grab the crack in the wall behind you, in the pillar behind you I should say. Shimmy round the ledges till we get to this one here. You might get a weird camera angle on this bit. Just press the look button to get back out of it. Drop, slide a bit, with a jump back with a twist and action to grab the crack in the wall behind you. Shimmy to the right, around the corner, drop onto the safe ledge. Climb up the blocks. Now I'm going to save here because I have had a bit of problems one time when I did it. Run and jump and grab the ledge you can just see there. <laughs> Climb up. There's also a bridge attached to this ledge. We are now going after the third and final secret. So I know that that's a tempting ladder to climb up but uh, ignore that ladder for now. To get the last secret of the level why am I sounding posh all of a sudden? Anyway, run, jump and grab the slope. Shimmy to the left. Now below, you might be able to see a crack in the wall. So, drop and grab. Shimmy round to the left. Round the corner. And you should just grab the ladder. Climb up the ladder. Don't climb up yet. Shimmy to the left once, or until you get to as close to the pillar to the left as possible. Jump back, then jump forward with a left curve to land on the flat ledge on top of the pillar. Run and jump to the ladder. Climb up. slide down, jump and grab the crack in the wall ahead.
shimmy all the way to the right around the corner to a crawl space in the wall climb in follow the passageway around up the stairs up yet another ladder and enter a room with a zip line you don't need to use the zip line to get back out but it's there if you want to use it if you don't want to lose any health getting back out I will go that route but if you want to uh, I will show you both ways but I will only go the way where you don't lose any health so turn to the right and you should see some breakable tiles. Walk to the edge. Jump back. Run and jump onto the tiles. Round to the left. Jump and grab the next set of tiles. Climb up. Run to the left. Run and jump and grab the safe ledge. And then climb the ladders. Drop down onto the ledge. The first pickup is some shotgun shells, and in the back left corner is the gold seraph. Now, if you want to use the zip line, I suggest dropping onto that ledge and then using the zip line to get back to the bridge. But, seeing as I don't have much health left, and I am not supposed to be using medipacks. I will go the safe route, which is to run and jump to the ladders, and then you can just quickly drop and grab to the ledge below, and then from here, you can just jump to this ledge here, and then slide down towards the bridge. Now we are going to climb up the ladders. <laughs> Once you've got to the top, take your guns out. Climb the stairs and a spider will fall. Next, get the flares thrown next to the skeleton. I wonder why the skeleton's wearing hats. Anyway, enter the next passage, climb the next set of stairs. Climb the ledge to the right. Slide down and you'll end up back in the pool. See, that's where we went to the right and dropped down into the pit. This time you are going left. You are going back to the wall switch and we are going back outside. So we are going to pull down this wall lever. The door to the right of us opens, and this is the end of the level. I thank you very much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next part of this walkthrough or in my next video. Bye! Don't you think you've seen enough?